Once upon a time when I was 19 years old, I decided I was going to become vegan. Now it was very difficult for me because my brain was telling me this was abnormal. My heart was telling me, no, it's abnormal to eat meat. Well, fast forward 10 years and suddenly a light bulb goes off when I have my own baby and I begin to read these books to her. And I started to understand why there was this constant debate between my heart and brain. Her ABC books would look something like this. E is for elephant, and the picture of an elephant would always be balancing on a ball wearing a hat, thus referring back to happy times at a circus elephant. Or Z would always stand for zoo with happy animals in their cages. As she became a preschooler, I began to look at her workbooks and would see these kind of examples at a sunny side up egg with an arrow pointing to the yolk having the child to sound out the letter Y for yolk. I would take her to the local children's museum in downtown St. Pete and you would see huge plastic pieces of steak and whole chickens. In fact, when I was filming this footage, there was even a child that looked like he's about one. He grabs two steaks and the dad goes, oh, that a boy, just like daddy, lots of steak. Uh, and, and that wasn't the only child. You would hear multiple parents talking about, oh, good job, you're getting the chicken, great. Uh, and they even have a life-size cow for you to milk, and parents are constantly taking pictures of their children milking this cow. It was at that point, one word kept coming to my mind, indoctrination. Children are compassionate. When they're born, they would never think to harm an animal. But what are we doing to them? And how is the animal agriculture already into the school system at even preschool level? This is why King Charter School needs to happen. We're starting King Charter for this reason. We believe that all cafeteria food should be 100% plant-based for the children. We believe all the curriculum should be 100% plant-based. We believe that this is one of the biggest injustices happening in the world today, especially for our children who are being taught improper health and nutrition, who are being taught that it is normal to go against their natural instincts of loving animals. What is so unique about a charter school is that it has the capability of expanding from county to county. Our application is ready to submit to Pinellas County School Board, but we need to raise funds. We need roughly $350,000 to start this school.